What's going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Raj Beats. What's going on? In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over three tips for fatter 808s. These are a few techniques that I've learned over the years that have helped me when I've been working on a track and the 808 low end just is not sitting right in the mix. It's not cutting through. It's not big enough. It doesn't have that commercial punch to it. So let's get into it. So the first technique is going to be distortion. So right here I have a very basic sine wave 808. You know, not a lot of effects on it, just a little bit of punch. And, uh, you know, it's pretty much all sub. So we're going to go into here. I have it mapped to mixer track channel one. And I'm going to throw on a distortion. First, I'm going to show you uh, a distortion native to FL Studio. In case you don't have third party plugins. So we're going to go to distortion, fruity, fast, dist, fruity, fast distortion. And already I'm going to play this in context with the beat. See, already you can hear. You know, obviously a huge difference. There's more grunge to it. There's more grit. Um, we bring the mix down. We get a little bit of control over how much it's affected. And a lot of times, this is actually my go-to uh, plugin when it comes to fattening up 808s. Um, I know it comes with FL Studio, but I don't count it out. There is a lot of uh, a lot of potential with this one. So play around. Switch between A, B, see what sounds good, and uh, let's go ahead and try that with, take this off, try it with Decapitator, which is another one of my go-to plugins when it comes to fattening up an 808. Shuffle through the presets here. This one's nice. So there's a ton of presets. This is another good one I like. It really depends on the track. Uh, it depends on the 808. It depends how you want it to sit in the mix. Uh, you know, right now all I have is. The 808, a clap, and a hat. So we don't really have a lot of context to base this off, but um, you know, I just wanted to show you guys the techniques so you can you can you know experiment with them uh, in your own time. So that's the decapitator. We also got a lot of other controls down here. Change the style. We have an overdrive knob. Little thump button. Change the tone, make it darker or brighter. This punish button up here gives it like a an extra fucking dose of uh, grit, kind of like your ex-girlfriend. Then we have uh, technique number two. So for tip number two with batter 808s is take off the original distortion that I had and bust this. No yelling on the bot! We're gonna send this channel, this 808 right here, to its own separate channel. You wanna have the original copy of your 808 going to your master as normal. But you also wanna have a separate one running to a duplicate signal or a bus. So let's say we're gonna pick uh, we're gonna pick ten. So we make we have to make sure that this is selected. This is how to do it in FL Studio. We're gonna go over to insert ten and click this little arrow down here. It's gonna route it. It's gonna bus it over to ten. So now we have two signals. We have the 808 going to the master, and then we have the 808 going into track ten, which goes into the master. I'm actually going to name this bus. 
808 bus. So now here's what we got to do because there's going to be some phasing. Um, we don't want that. So we have to take, that's why it's so loud because it's just two duplicate signals on top of each other. So for now, we're going to turn off the 808 that's going to the master and only have it going into this bus. No yelling on the bus! So we can hear it independently. So now this channel on the bus, and I'm going to explain why we're doing this in a second. I'm going to throw a decapitator on because I liked some of the tones that it was giving before. Only this time, I'm going to fucking turn everything way up. I'm going to go a little bit crazier than I would have on the original signal, and I'll explain why in a sec. So now we have this. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to add an EQ equalizer underneath the decapitator. Isolate, and this is the part where you can really experiment. We're going to isolate the area that has the distortion that we want, the fatness and then the crunch. Now again, this is going to be dependent upon each individual track. Feel you know, feel free to experiment um, with different plugins, with different um, effects. Try compression. Um, you know, the whole point of this method is to be able to layer it, a separate signal, on top, back on top of the 808. So now we're going to run this original 808 back to the master. Sounds pretty good right there. Um, again, there's no other instruments. There's nothing melodic. There's no chord progressions, pads. There's just nothing to fill up the middle range. So your end result is going to be based on your mix and how you want the 808 to sit. If these two methods that I just showed you for fatter 808 um, are not working for you, change your 808. Um, and this probably should actually be the first thing to try um, just for the sole fact that you really have to start you know you really have to start with the sound that you want before you know it's, it's ideal if you start with the sound that you are looking for that works with the context of everything else that you have before trying to you know process things and, and affect things a lot of times if you just change up your 808 if you just change up, um, you know, the sound, and this applies to, to any sound in your mix, in your arrangement, um, you know, try to find a sound that fits in really well already, so you don't have to do a lot. Maybe you just have to do some light effects to get the, you know, to get the mix sounding exactly where you want it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have questions, please let me know below. Um, I answer very quickly, uh, as quickly as I can, and... Um, go ahead and follow me on uh, Instagram. It's Raj underscore beats underscore official. And if you like this, if it was helpful, uh, share it with a friend. Stay tuned. You know, this is my first tutorial video. So um, I got a lot more coming and I want to I wanna educate you guys as much as I can on what I've, you know, learned over the years that have helped me. And I'm still learning every day. So 